Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So, let's get into it. So, angels, what do we got for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know at this time? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Also, don't be letting people get to you either. Make sure you're controlling your temper. Because it is a Mercury retrograde. So, I'm definitely seeing that somebody is going on a vacation with a gold digger. You could be going on a vacation. You could be traveling, taking some type of trip to a gold digger. I don't know. Yeah. So, the first card we have is commitment. So, I definitely see that things are getting serious. Okay. If this is not in love, this could be in a job. Yeah. I'm saying that you could be committed to listening to your intuition. Okay? Yeah. I'm saying that you need to listen to your intuition. Because the red flag that you are knowing now will possibly bite you in your ass. Yeah, with well, intimacy, somebody could be... You know, in this intimacy energy where it's though they're having some type of sexual chemistry or reminiscing sexually about someone who they had chemistry with. And there could be some type of health issue that could arise. Look at this shit, Mercury retrograde. So there could be some type of health that could arise, okay? And you could be having to move, okay? Whether you're having to change, you know, residence or move in with your partner, all right? There's some type of, <laughs> there's some type of shit going on, <sighs> okay? So let's see what's going on. So this could be pertaining to the health of your relationship, Yep, I really feel like this is pertaining to the health of your relationship. If you are in a relationship with someone, it's like things can be getting serious, but there's a red flag here. Yep, with that vibration I just heard, there's a red flag here that you need to listen to your intuition about. And listen to your intuition should be, could be this, like, if you want to move in with this person, or if you want to change residence, you know? But I'm saying that you need to listen to your intuition about somebody reminiscing about somebody, you know? Because it really can affect the health of this relationship. Definitely if you move in with this person and Mercury Retrograde is here. So you could be having electronic issues, communication issues, or, you know, you're just, just having to review everything. I'm also seeing with pregnancy at the bottom of the deck, someone is expecting, okay? So let's see what's going on. So angels, why is commitment here? Matter of fact, yeah, there's a king of wands here. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Why is commitment here for Scorpio? Yeah, somebody is trying to curse your commitment or curse some type of relationship that you're serious about, yeah. And they're wanting to curse it because it's a blessing. Yeah. And then you're getting good news. So, whoever this is that tried to curse your commitment, know that this was a blessing for you. Because while you're receiving good news, dance is going to be proud to that curse that they tried to you know set for you yeah they're going to be the victim of that curse now so you know thank them because while you're getting blessings and good news they fell in that trap which is that curse so now their relationship or whatever commitment they are in is going to be cursed why is intuition here yeah i'm saying listen to your intuition because the red flags that you are knowing right now will come to bite you in the ass yeah listen to your intuition about the person who plotted on you about the motherfucker who created some type of robbery here. So, pay attention to your intuition. If you know somebody was the culprit, you know, behind you being treated unfairly or 
behind you being exploited or behind you when it comes to a robbery because there's a man and a female here okay all right and both of them was desiring this for you all right but it was mainly orchestrated by the man okay yeah it was his goal in the family so this could be a brother in your family a uncle in your family she your son yeah they wanted you to feel overwork and overwhelmed yeah they wanted you to be fragile or prone to some type of you know control tactics they was doing because somebody wanted to dominate you yeah why is intimacy here yeah whoever this person is that had some type of sexual chemistry and who it could be possibly reminiscent about you i'm saying that you not compromising with this person is the reason why this person lost is the reason why this person so this person is in sorrow they feel damaged because you don't want to reconcile with them you don't want to come to no agreement and you don't want to reconsider nothing and it's because of this person treating you unfairly just to gain some type of stability or acceptance and you ain't fucking with that you don't fuck with that uh-uh you don't fuck with that why is health here yeah health so somebody could be blinded okay yeah this could be unknown yeah this ain't you you're you're stable you're okay you're of alliance but whoever this person is that, that yeah this person is about to go through some type of death or ending yeah because they tried to cause you sickness huh and i really feel as though somebody tried to like cause an ending for you by making you weak when I see illness, this talks about like trying to break you down. You feel me? Conflict. What a conflict. So say like you got into it with someone or you and someone just don't get along. Somebody tried to like break you down with that to cause an ending. Okay? Knowing that you were a lot. Knowing that you was alliance. Knowing that you were okay. Yes. So this person caused a conflict to try to cause you a danger. With some type of mind games they was playing. But you've already lived and learned. That somebody was, that somebody accepted someone's bride. This is why they traveled to you. Yeah, now somebody is binded here. Because you still have inner peace. So somebody is binded. Why do you have inner peace? And somebody could be walking around this shit blindly. Not knowing that there's some type of health issue that's about to arise. And then because of this conflict that they started. Yeah, now somebody feeling awkward. Yeah, you could have moved. I really feel as though you changed residence. Yeah, you could have changed residence or just moved. Yeah, now somebody is feeling awkward. Because, you know, they really didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. Because I really feel blind here. You know, somebody did not know what they was talking about when it came to you. But here it is. Somebody is realizing that you are pure. And that you have some type of unconditional love. This is why you are beloved. And... Somebody was just irritated. This is why they came up with this idea. To try to put some type of unwanted attention on you. This, Like I said, this is a couple or a brother or sister. They wanted to protest you with some unwanted attention. They came up with this idea thinking that this was going to either attach something to you or irritate you. And it was because of your pure heart. Now somebody is feeling awkward because they was blinded to this is why somebody was attacking you. Because you was pure of heart. And they just wanted something to be attached to you because they wanted you to go through some type of disturbance. Yes, this was somebody's idea to protest you. To put unwanted attention on you. Now they're getting fucking karma. It's like, what are we talking about? Again, Mercury Retrograde is here. You could be having electronic issues, possibly communication issues. Just having to regroup everything at this time, okay? Yeah. Somebody was optimistic about an illusion and <laughs> somebody got evidence somebody got proof that you are an introvert and that you're also a profession and that in the past somebody saw that you was getting some type of promotion or level up so they tried to like blind people of this truth now they're getting karma so i'm guessing somebody tried to blind people of your level up 
Somebody tried to blind people of your gift. And now motherfuckers got proof that, you know, not only are you an introvert, but you are a professional. And in the past, because you was getting some type of promotion or a level up, somebody was trying to blind people or try to disturb people of you. Yeah. And now they're getting fucking karma. Yeah, this could be a couple that prayed over your downfall. Like, this is this is a couple who literally tried to put shit in your drinks just to cause you some type of natural disaster and lost. Now they want to compromise after collaborating with somebody that's into real estate. So, a couple collaborated with somebody who do real estate. Okay? <laughs> that shit weird. So let's see the tea, the real tea. Yeah, the real tea is you got a king of wands. Nine of wands, which would be a Sagittarius energy. This person is watching you, okay? They got some type of passion, feelings for you, okay? Yeah, with the seven of pentacles and the king of wands, you got, yeah, I, look, kid you not. You got a king of wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. This is the king of wands who is possibly an entrepreneur. If this is not them, this is you. I really feel as though this is you. I feel as though you work very hard, seven of pentacles, on some type of long term, you know, view. And you put in the hard work and you persevered. And it's because of your diligence to invest and, you know, to just, you know, continue. And now you're being rewarded. Which is this King of Wands energy. I'm saying that you're being seen as a natural leader. A visionary. You could be an entrepreneur. But I'm definitely saying that you're seeing the bigger picture of a situation. Which is allowing you to overcome any challenges. And it's because you've matured. And you could be career focused at this time. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. You're focused on your career or, op or financial opportunities. You're on a new venture to prosperity. Page of Swords. And somebody is watching you. Death card. They're saying that you went through a transformation. Five of Swords after they tried to play mind games with you. Seven of Cups. Some type of illusion somebody was playing. So you could have been dealing with a Taurus. Virgo or Capricorn. Who was heavily invested. Now they're spying. Got a confirmation. You got a Taurus spying on you. And they're saying that you're this king of wands. A natural leader. And that you overcame challenges. And that you're mature and career focused. Death card. You went through an ending. But also you're in a brand new beginning. You've changed. You've transformed. <laughs> and you have went through this metaphor. And now you're in the end of a cycle. With the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is saying that something was given to you. You got a new career or financial opportunity. And this could have been after some type of conflict of upheaval. You know I'm saying that. Mm -mm, somebody is fine. They saying that something ended. That they lost the argument. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups when they created this illusion. Same card because they're being exposed by a high priestess. I'm saying that you need to listen to your intuition because your intuition is on the money. Yes, it's an illusion. Five of Swords, somebody playing mind games. It's a pentacles because <laughs> you got shit coming in. Yeah, somebody wanted to defeat you. Ten of Swords, ruin you. Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups with an illusion. <laughs> well, whatever the fuck they thought in their head. <laughs> And they was heavily invested. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Let's go be up. Yeah, they was heavily invested. This could have been a King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Yeah, with the Six of Pentacles. So somebody was heavily invested because they wanted you to give to them. Page of Wands. Somebody also was heavily invested because they wanted what was yours. They wanted to receive the same thing that you was receiving. They felt like they was going to get good news. But with the four of cups, they missed the opportunity. Nine of cups. And it's because of some type of, you know, your wish came true instead. They missed the opportunity. Meanwhile, your wish came true. Eight of pentacles. Yeah, because you worked on yourself. Temperance and brought something into balance. Seven of swords, even though somebody lied, tried to steal from you. Ace of cups. Yeah, you listen to your intuition. Eight of swords. Now somebody could be either being. So if you were dealing with a thief, here it is. It, they're going to be locked up with the seven of swords this is somebody who tried to steal from you scam you do some treacherous ass shit to you ace of cups but you listen to your intuition eight of swords now this person could either be getting locked up yeah six of wands this person is being seen 
If they want to go viral, they ain't going viral for the right shit. They're going viral for the wrong shit. This King of Cups. Yeah, this could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces masculine. Two of swords that try to distort your view about a Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Wands who wanted to cause you a heavy burden. Five of Pentacles because they wanted you left out in the cold. Five of Cups and love, and somebody wanted you to lose the lovers, your person, Hermit. They wanted you to get. They wanted you to be ghosted. Nine of Swords and they wanted you in this. So somebody wanted a Queen of Pentacles to cause you a heavy burden, so that I'm guessing your partner could leave you and you could feel left out. Three of Cups. This was a group of people who were celebrating. Seven of Cups, an illusion. But with the Sun card, it's being exposed now by a High Priestess, Four of Pentacles, and you could be this High Priestess. You can listen to your intuition about these motherfuckers. Four of Pentacles. That's why you held back, but you holding back. Hangman has sabotaged them. You not feeding into that shit? <laughs> judgment. They're under judgment. Two of Pentacles for causing an imbalance. Nine of Swords and trying to attack you. Four of Wands because of your stability. Nine of Pentacles and because you worked alone. Full card and because you had a brand new beginning. So somebody hated the fact that you had a brand new beginning. And that you were sitting pretty. Receiving the results of your hard work. <laughs> the Moon card. This is why they created an illusion. Ten of Cups about your happiness. A King of Swords. This could be a Libra Gemini on Aquarius. Or you could be sitting up in this King of Swords energy. Yep. And good luck is on your side because you chose a head over heart decision. Queen of Cups. And you also was very nurturing and compassionate. Page of Cups and forgiving. Queen of Swords. Even though you were discerning. And even though you were logic. Page of Pentacles. This is how you passed a test double to do with some type of shadow self so say like this queen of swords energy i'm also hearing the queen of swords energy is your shadow self if you don't know this if you root if you read yourself and you pull out the queen of swords i'm letting you know now that it's your shadow self yourself is the queen of wands you're more of like a fiery person you know the queen of swords is you know you feel like okay i gotta i gotta be practical so you're being practical but you being practical, oh my God, it's causing a tower for this devil, bro. Whoever this toxic person was that was in your life, they're going through a huge tower. You want to know why? Magician in reverse. It's because they did some magic, bro. Out of being insecure. This was poor planning. This is somebody who was not that tapped in. And it's because they had some type of lack of confidence. This is somebody who... Let narcissism rule them. Six of swords. Yeah, you've already moved on. The world card to close out this karmic cycle. Scrim card. I'm saying that you 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 took back control with the scrim card and the chariot. You took back control of your will of your life. Emperor, look, come on, man. You took back control of your life. So if people don't understand it, that's them. But when you have the world here and the six of swords, you're gone. You've already closed it out. You're done. And with the scrim chariot and the emperor, this is it's, it's screaming. I am in control of my life. That's what it says. Not a wants. I am in control of my actions. I am in control of my movement. And you're moving out here fearlessly, sexy, you know, very charming, very unpredictable. It's like your energy brings passionate, inspired action. Yeah, you got a king of pentacles here, though. A Virgo father figure. Yeah, this is a Virgo father figure here. Three of wands who is at a distance from you. Right along with a queen of wands. Okay, so you got a king of pentacles here. A Virgo who's a part of a family. And this queen of wands. So we got a Virgo and an Aries here. This could be a couple that got kids. They're at a distance from you. And they want to heal something with you. But with the nine of wands, I'm saying that you need to have the carriage to be persistent. I'm saying that be resilient because somebody is literally testing your faith. And set your boundaries up because somebody is trying to take the last stand. So this queen of wands and this king of pentacles, they're trying to take their last stance on you, okay? Okay? So keep your boundaries up. It's the source. That's the fucking truth. With the higher fit, somebody trying to play God in your life, pool. They want you to abide by their rules, their society, their religion. With the three of pentacles, this could be a group of three. Two of wands who chose this path. Empress with their mother. 
two of cups to partner up, seven of wands to block you. But with the knight of cups, this was impulsive as a fake ass knight in shining armor. Four of swords, this is why this shit is being put to rest. Eight of cups, because you've already walked away. Six of cups from these people in your past. Ten of swords who betrayed you. Three of swords broke your heart. Eight of wands and projecting on you. Knight of pentacles just to slow you up. With justice being here, I'm saying that you're getting justice. You're going to get your karmic justice five of wands for this community. Causing this conflict. So if I was them, I would move on. Because... You already did. You already did. Justice is on your side. Okay? I don't know what these people... I don't know what these people thought. I don't know what they... I don't know what the fuck they be thinking, y'all. Yeah. You got raw. The I got. Yeah, somebody could be a drunk driver, y'all. Yeah. Life lessons. Not karma. Thank you. So you could have went through life lessons and somebody could have tried to act like you was going through karma? No. They are your life lessons. <laughs> yeah, you got somebody that's still in love with you. Okay? This motherfucker could be driving the fucking karmic crazy. Because she know. She know that he in love with you. Somebody could also be having car issues. Something is about to be, some other car could be being repo, could be, yeah, being repo, because they can't afford their car note. Look, I don't know. I, that ain't me saying that. I don't know. I'm just reading what the card said. I got a lot of cards, but them ones came out. So, matter of fact, let me see. So, angels, why is Ra here? Ra, what's going on? Why are you here? You got Genesis here. Hmm. Hathor, Basset, Jib. Hmm. So, hmm. This can definitely be pertaining to like family. Y'all know Genesis. You know, Genesis got yeah, everything getting. That's so crazy because Genesis is here. Hmm. You got Hathor here too. Y'all know Hathor is the goddess of love. She ain't Isis, but she is. If you know, you know. Yeah. So Ra. See, because Ra, he's showing up right there too. See, Ra is going to bring in your justice. Okay? You got segment here. Oh, shit. Hold on. And Hawthorne. Whoa. So, y'all remember in the beginning, I was like, y'all make sure y'all keep y'all temple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, make sure y'all keep y'all temple. Okay? Because somebody could be toying with you, but you ain't got to worry about it because justice is about to be served. Yeah, let's see who this drunk driver is. Why is this drunk driver here? Hermit. This could be a Virgo. So this, a, a Virgo. Yes, King of Pentacles. So there's a Virgo here who could be a drunk driver. Yes, this is a model who want their cake. They they want you. They want their cake and they want to eat it too. And with the King of Swords, bro, you got three men. Oh my God. Girl, you got all the kings here. Uh, um, you got one, two, three, four. Oh my God. So there's a king of pentacles, a king of swords, a king of cups, and a king of wands. Three of swords who betrayed you. Six of swords and try to get away with it. Four of swords by laying something to rest. Emperor with your masculine. But with the page of cups, somebody could be wanting to apologize. Death card, because there is some type of ending. It's the cups to the love that's in their life. Will of fortune, and it's because that's, what's, that's, that's their karma. Yep, that's what goes up, must come down. And with the nine of wands, somebody is burnt out now. Queen of cups, yep. So, with the nine of wands, somebody did not want to give up. Now they burnt out. And with the Queen of Cups being here, it's like you're focusing on nurturing and, you know, 
filling up your own shit, cleaning up your own shit. You could be birthing something. You don't have to be pregnant. You could be birthing ideas. You could be pregnant with ideas. You could be sitting on a mind stone right now. But with the nine of swords, somebody is feeling guilty and ashamed. Like, whoa, it was me. Five of cups, yes. Somebody is feeling a loss of a friendship. Three of cups of like celebrating with you, turning up with you, script card, because they was in their ego. Yeah, somebody was in their ego, y'all. Four of wands at a home, ten of pentacles when it came to a family. Double card, who was toxic, ace of pentacles. So there was a family who was obsessed with some type of money here or your gift. With the Ace of Pentacles to the High Priestess. You could be a High Priestess. You and the whole family obsessed with your gift. Seven of Wands to the fact that they try to block you. But justice is here. And their karma is going to be hangman. They sabotage themselves. Five of Wands for all grouping up together to do something on you. Knowing damn well you were a healer. This was an impulsive ass action. Two of Cups to partner up with each other. Page of Pentacles just to become some type of Yo, somebody literally tried to plan tower, some type of upheaval to you. Four of Pentacles just to hold you back. Six of Pentacles because they wanted what was yours. Ace of Wands. So they took this action. Knight of Cups to come towards you with this fake ass love. Four of Cups just for you to miss the opportunity. Cherry to move forward. Page of Wands. This is why somebody was trying to become a distraction in your path. Do you see the lizard? Do you see the cat? They're trying to describe you. Do you see how big you are? Like, what the fuck? Y'all get y'all weird ass. Yeah, with the two of swords, somebody targeted you. Four bulls out on you. Three, look at this. Five of swords. It's three women here. Three women who felt a certain type of way about you. They just could not release how they thought or felt about you. So they attacked you with some cordial magic. This could have been mental magic. Yeah, one of them crying now. The other two still back there. Six of Wands, but they're about to be seen. They're about to be seen in the whole community. Ten of Cups. Eight of Wands. On what they sent out? Seven of Pentacles because of what they invested in. Ten of Swords to betray you so that you wouldn't be able to get back up. Five of Pentacles because they wanted you in, I guess, poverty. They wanted you left out in the cold. They wanted you to struggle with your son. Do you see that? They wanted you out in the cold with your kid. A Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Eight of Swords. This person is going to be mentally stuck in trial. Right along with this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag, Seven of Swords, because they was out here stealing from your lover. This this Queen of Wands could be your lover's mother. Yeah, with the lovers to the Empress, this is your lover's mother. Seven of Swords, he was out here trying to get away with some deceptive bad shit. A Queen of Wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius mother figure of your lover. Eight of Cups that's going to have to walk away. Knight of Swords, we're trying to attack you. They're like, war! Knight of Pentacles. And you was out here trying to give offerings to people. Queen of Swords. I'm saying that you're very logic. You also know the truth. Moon car about what somebody was doing in secret. You already know that these bitches are... You already know that these bitches are witches you already know one two three of them are witches and one of them got the nerve to be pregnant yeah these three witch bitches was out here trying to create an illusion because you was in this nine of pentacles energy you were self-sufficient independent on your own and you didn't need other people to partner up with you page of swords so they started speaking some fucking knowledge that wasn't even the full facts but the page of swords is somebody who has little knowledge three of wands yeah, they had little knowledge. Out here trying to spread some gossip and shit, trying to see where it's gonna go. But with the fool card, it only it only allows you to go down a different path. Six of, six of cups from these past people, eight of pentacles, because they was literally doing concussion work on you. Do you see? A bitch was out here doing concussion work on you, kitchen magic on you. Mm hmm. Seven of cups to create an illusion, so it's that you wouldn't choose the right offer. But with the world card, that shit has come to an end. Hierophant from this Taurus who was trying to play God and you and your person's life. And with the Ace of Swords, that's the truth. With the Two of Wands, this is the path they chose. Ten of Wands to cause you a heavy burden. Two of Pentacles because they wanted you to go through some type of up and down. But if you see this card, you are infinite. 
You have infinite possibilities. So them causing you burdens, thinking that they God ain't do shit to you. Do you see how you're standing? Look at you. Who is in balance? Not you. Yeah, that weak ass magic they doing ain't working on you. You are a magician your goddamn self. Like who the fuck do these people think they are? Yeah, I'm saying that you already answered the call. You already answered the call. Mm-hmm. Like did they did they get it yet? You already answered the call. This is why your wishes is coming in for you. This is why, you know, things are balancing out for you with temperance. Three of Pentacles, people wanting to work with you. Because you already answered the call. It's giving, um, mm, I, look, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like I said, <laughs> you had four men who betrayed you and thought they was going to get away with it. Why is life lessons? Yup, with the Knight of Wands, you moving impulsive was life lessons for you. That ain't no motherfucking karma. Two of Wands, you choosing them paths, Ace of Swords, that's the fucking truth. You choosing a path that you used to choose if you were impulsive, if you were jumping in and out of relationships. That's how you learned your life lessons. So tell these people, fuck them. How about that, Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. You learned your life lessons when you moved impulsive. Two of Wands, when you chose the path that you chose. That's how you learned your life lessons, not karma. So tell them thank you, Ace of Swords. Yeah, Hierophant. God is here. God say that's the truth. And God is in you in your person's life. And he will be illuminating the truth for y'all with that sword. Two of Wands. Yeah, somebody trying to, somebody, so say like you got kids or some shit like that. Somebody out here trying to make you feel bad about your choices. And bitch, look. You're making no choices in your life. That's what you did, okay? But you, you're, you're wiser now, right? You're smarter now, right? Yeah. Yeah, this person is still in love with you. Page of Pentacles. This could be a childish ass toys burger or a Capricorn. Or because somebody is still in love with you. Yeah, I'm saying because somebody is still in love with you, it's driving this student with the Page of Pentacles crazy. And I'm also hearing this could be a Toys Book or Capricorn who was learning from you. It's giving your student type of energy who tried to plan against you. Two of Cups with their partner. Star card. Yeah. I'm, it's your destiny to be a healer. Ace of Cups. Give love. That's how you're going to receive love. Yeah. Motherfuckers out here trying to distort your view with their weird ass. They're weird. Okay. They're weird.